Hello everyone and welcome to or back to my YouTube channel. You can call me Ray. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you always know every single time I upload new content. Recently, my mother had a wedding and then right after that we ended up moving out of the state and that's mostly what took up a majority of my time away from the internet. Just as well, this move has been emotionally difficult on me. Um, I haven't been in the best state of mind really to even be recording anything and even now I still feel a little bit low. I'm getting used to things as time goes on but it's still an adjustment period that I have to go through and so you know just be patient with me right now and you know I apologize for all of this but I am officially back. Uh, everything's all set up. My computer's set up. We've got all of that out of the way and I am real comfy cozy in my new uh, apartment and and yeah, so we're just, we're ready to go now. With that said, I wanted to start a new challenge because I'm kind of starting my channel on a clean slate now. Not like entirely clean, but I did want to scrap a few projects that I have been working on. So as of right now, the only things that are currently still running that were previously running are Maple Bee Legacy and Crybaby Whims. And today we are starting another challenge and this is going to be the last one that I'm adding into my lineup because I don't want to do more than three at a time. As you guys may have seen, I did a poll asking if you guys would like to see a human enough challenge, if you would like to see Black Widow, or if you would like to see something different. Majority of you did vote for human enough, but a good portion also voted for Black Widow. So I had this idea. I was like, how can I incorporate both? And I decided that what I can do is actually kind of combine this challenge. It sounds complex, but I think it's doable so I'm not too concerned about it mostly because the human enough challenge does start with the sim as a teenager and obviously with our teenage sim we're not going to be doing black widow things that's disgusting so I'm not going to worry about the black widow aspect of the challenge until our sim ages up into a young adult and today we have our sim that I'm working on I have not officially named her yet so I'm not revealing her name yet because I don't quite know her name will be revealed though in the first part so obviously don't worry about that <laughs> but I wanted to do something a little bit unique because I know that Nixel is doing this challenge right now and I didn't want to just feel like I was just taking it from her um so I kind of wanted to do something a little bit different and I figured you know what I might as well just mix the two challenges together because I don't think I've ever seen somebody do something like that I'm sure someone has but I've just I've never seen it done before so I figured I might as well and in other news this is also going to be the month that I start my twitch channel channel back up. Um, I've been super busy working on that as well so I want everything to be presentable at the very least when my Twitch channel launches this month. And my, I already have a Twitch channel. It's already up and everything but there's like basically nothing on it. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and put my Twitch URL or whatever on the screen here and also you can find it linked in the description box so make sure to go ahead and go follow that channel because I will be uh, going live sometime this month. If you want more like updates about when I am going to be going live, I will post a little community tab that notifies you guys probably about a week before I go live and just as well, I do keep things very updated on my Discord. So I would highly recommend joining my Discord so that you are completely up to date because I'm on there all the time. And make sure to swing on by my Twitch channel while I'm live because we're gonna keep things super interactive. Um, I mean, honestly, mostly I just want to be able to talk and play with you guys. I love the idea of that. It sounds so fun to me. So definitely be there. And lastly, I am working on also selling things. I'm probably going to be opening an Etsy shop. It's probably not like um, everyone's cup of tea, but if it's something that you want to check out, it will also be something that I am currently working on. Um, uh, mostly just for Twitch assets. I was also thinking of doing just like little graphics for people or stickers and stuff like that. I, I just want to kind of focus on graphics and whatnot. But anyways, for the human enough challenge, I will be posting the first part for this challenge very soon. And just as well, Maple Bee Legacy will be getting an update very soon as well. I'm sorry it's been on such a long hiatus. I just haven't had the 
time really to play with it as much as I would have wanted to. Anyways, I hope that you all have a super lovely weekend and like I said, I'm back and I could probably even film and edit more now. I'm hoping that's the case once I get like really settled in and I hope things are a lot easier for me in terms of content creation. And one last note before I just dip out of this voiceover, I do get a lot of questions that ask me, can you put this specific sim on the gallery? Can you put this sim on the gallery? And I totally get that. I know that some of you really, really like my sims like Dove and Rogue. Unfortunately, I just, I don't really foresee myself putting these sims on the gallery in the future. And the reason that I'm bringing this up right now is because this sim that I'm currently making for the Human Enough Challenge, she is not going to be on the gallery. And I would appreciate it if people don't ask me if I put her on the gallery. There are some sims that I'm like, quote unquote, protective of. And I feel like Dove and Rogue really fall into that category. Sometimes it's just like, I, you know, it's like having a favorite doll, I guess, in a way. And I just, I can't police what people do with these sims, like what craziness that they put them through. And I don't know, it just kind of makes me uncomfortable. And same goes for this sim that I'm currently making because I actually, she's probably one of my favorites that I've ever made. Uh, I just really like how she turned out. But I will be including all of her CC links. So, uh, you know, there, there's always that. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you know every single time I upload a new video. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!